Hello everyone. So, I was curious. I I wanted to look up some Overwatch fan fiction, and look up a a certain certain sexy n character. Uh, not Hanzo, not McCree, uh, not Genji. No, the sexiest uh character, Winston, the gorilla. And, uh, I found it. Overwatch X Reader. It's on hold. It's on hold right now. By LadyGall1278 on, uh, Wetpad. It's. Apparently, you can read the story for free. There's other stories. And this is their per. This is the person's first lemon. Now. For people that don't know what a lemon is, it's a, uh, not safe for work fan fiction. Sometimes going into the naughty bits. So, uh, yeah. Let's read it. Winston X Reader. The Need to Meet. You were at Winston's house, which was far away from the city, away from other humans. You were his closest human friend besides Tracer. And everybody knows Tracer is a lesbian. You hang out with Winston almost every day to get to know him. And get closer to him. You couldn't admit it, but he had a crush on the big ape. He's the most amazing, nicest person you'll ever meet. And he didn't judge nor discriminate <laughs> against you. Because, one, he's an animal. Two, he's a gorilla. He's an animal and a gorilla. Because... Gorillas aren't animals. But you didn't care. You didn't care. You liked him. But you were waiting for the right moment. The right moment. To tell him. Speaking of Winston, you noticed he hadn't come out of his room for two days. Something was off about Winston. And, uh... It wasn't because of the museum incident. Even after Reaper broke his father's glasses, you managed to fix them. Winston, for a few days, was acting fine, but... Two days ago, he looked anxious, like a kid waiting to get out of a <laughs> get out of math. He stuttered when you were close to his personal space. He even uh, blushed red and froze in place when you made hand hand <laughs> handmade contact with his furry arm. You slightly blush, thinking about feeling his fur through your fingers after petting his arm and turned your hand away. Winston forcibly grabbed your hand and growled at you. Lo, his face showed in an intimidating look. You struggled, and his grip crying out, Winston, you're hurting me. He stopped growling and stared at your bruised hand and at his palm. He closed his eyes and ran to his room, telling Athena to lock it. I guess he'll be, uh, He's gonna be busy with peanut butter and uh, bananas. I'm not sure if he eats bananas. I know he, the, the character eats peanut butter, but moving on. After that incident, your hand was healed thanks to Athena, but you couldn't help but feel blamed. Did I make him upset, you thought? I gotta go see him. You said to yourself and walked upstairs to his room. You pressed the access button to go inside, but the door didn't open. You pressed it again, but it didn't work. You walked to Winston's computer and saw some of the movies you and him stayed up and watched. You smiled to yourself, thinking about the movie nights with popcorn, PB and bananas, and soda and smoothies. You shook the thought out. I can't think about that right now. I gotta help Winston. You said to yourself. You pressed with a, you pressed the holopad, and standing on it was Athena. Overwatches and Winston's AI. Ah, greetings whatever name we're gonna pick here just gonna we're gonna go with Jenny yeah we're gonna go with Jenny ah greetings Jenny is there something I can help you with she asked Athena can you let me into Winston's room you asked with with concern I'm sorry but Winston needs to be there by himself Athena said bluntly please Athena I want your help Winston I I hope I haven't done anything wrong to hurt him, you said in worry. 
I'm sorry, Jenny. It's Winston's orders not to let you win. She assured you. Athena, please, I want to help you, you said. Athena looked at you and with the... Looked at you. I don't know how she could look at you. She, you're, she's a computer. She doesn't have eyes. But, uh, moving on. Athena looked at you and knew she couldn't dissuade you. She sighed very well. I hope this won't have consequences, she said. Access granted. She spoke and disappeared into the hall pad. You walked up to Winston's room to see what he's doing. Winston was sitting on his bed. But his back was turned and he was wearing no shirt. Which lets you saw his muscles. <laughs> and fur. The only thing he was wearing was his boxers. You blushed but noticed Winston was looking at the wall. You stepped inside and Winston turns around. It's, it, you turns the spell T-U-R-N-E-S. Turns. Turniz. Around with a surprised look on his face like a kid caught with a cookie jar. <laughs> Jenny, uh, what, what are you doing in here? He stuttered. I came to help you. I found out why you almost attacked me. Did I do something wrong? You asked him. Uh, J Jenny, please leave right now. Uh... He said, almost moaning. You shook your head. No, why are you acting like this? What's happening to you? You asked, getting closer to his personal space. Uh, J Jenny, please leave or I won't control myself. Uh. <laughs> um, uh, control myself a minute. He said, groaning and almost growling. He balled his paws into a fist and closed his eyes. Athena locked the door, he bluntly said. But... She did, but Winston was looking at with the same intimidating look before. <laughs> Wrong choice. He growled and grabbed you by your shirt and pressed you against the wall. You grunted and grasped your hands on his furry arm. Winston, why are you doing this? You cried. Winston growled and brought his face to your ear. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> this is my best Winston voice. I'm in heat. <laughs> and I need to mate. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Ugh. He growled low and deep. His tongue hang out of his mouth. Hang out. Hang out of his mouth. Uh, and he licked down to your neck. And he started tasting and nipping it. You whimpered and slightly moaned. Feeling Winston's furry arm. Snaking its way to your bra, cupping your breasts and squeezing it. <laughs> oh, I gotta, I gotta continue. I gotta continue. You moaned, feeling his big hand massaging his other one, supported your leg. This, this is. I'm reading this word for word. Uh, I didn't know this could happen. I thought I could close it off, but seeing you made me feel something inside. He softly said, turning from the wall to his large bed. He gently laid you down, slowly removed your shirt, and threw it in a random direction. Winston pressed his lips against yours, almost forcefully. You moaned into the kiss, pressing your hands on his chest. Winston snicked his arm around your pants, unbuttoning it and zipping it down. Uh, unbuttoning and zipping? Okay. He, uh, he pulled your pants off, showing your underwear. Winston cupped your cheek and noticed he was tearing up. Ugh. Well, Daddy, will you forgive me? He said in worry. You reached up and pressed your lips against his. You snaked your tongue over his. <laughs> and heard him growl in his throat. He forced his tongue. Uh, into your mouth, fighting for domination. <laughs> you two real released each other, smelled, and you spoke into Winston's ear. I'm a virgin, Winston. Please be gentle. He whimpered. I'll try, he said, and unclipped your bra and threw it in a random direction. Winston crept 
cupped both of your breasts, massaging them, and played with your nipples. You whimpered softly and let out a soft moan, feeling Winston left his tongue on your nipple. He licked once more and started sucking it. You grunted and wrapped your arms around his neck, feeling hot and blushing madly. After... Uh, oh god, I'm not done. <laughs> After Winston stopped sucking, he brought three of his fingers to his mouth, sucked on them, making them wet enough for you. You blushed and squirmed while Winston spread your legs to take a look of your rosebud. <sighs> Winston bent his head down and inserted one finger. You cried... How, how big are a gorilla's fingers? Like, I, I'm pretty sure gorilla's fingers are like... The size of a... Of like, a vibrator or something. I'm not sure. Like, I'm pretty sure a gorilla's hands are like huge. Like, I feel like this would hurt. <laughs> Winston... Oh, God. Winston inserted his second finger, which caused you to grab onto the his other furry arm. Because that one was feeling left out. Winston growled and inserted his third finger, making the inside of your rosebud loosen for him to be inside you. He pulled his fingers out and sniffed at your batch. <laughs> He brought out his tongue, started licking it, making it more wet enough so you wouldn't hurt. He moaned louder, feeling his tongue giving you pleasure. Winston stopped licking and pulled down his boxers. You gasped in surprise, seeing his ten-inched member. It was wider than a human. <laughs> it, was <laughs> it was wider than a human. And it was like leaking precum. He towered above and lowered himself down. He felt his ten inch cock touching your rosebud. Winston Winston didn't hesitate and pushed inside you. It just fucking pushed in there and pushed. <laughs> Winston growled more loudly, feeling your badge tightening against his cock. He growled more possessively and locked his lips with the gores. You moaned and whimpered, feeling him thrusting inside you. Winston released your lips and embraced you, wanting to hear you cry out his name. Ooh! Ooh! Winston! Winston! Ooh! <laughs> you cried out his name, feeling him thrusting faster. You moaned out again and embraced Winston, crying out his name. Winston pointed and moaned your name, out thrusting you harder. Daddy, oh daddy, I'm gonna. Winston roared and shot his seed inside you. He shivered and collapsed on his side. He winced and whimpered. Sliding out of his cock and laid on his side. He wrapped arm around his neck and pulled him into a kiss. It looks like the, the, the Arthur themselves was getting into it because they're getting, they're, it's getting more typos and stuff. Winston moaned a bit and wrapped his arm around your small figure. He, uh, was stopped. He was stopped. And panting. And spoke. I love you, Jenny. He spoke and rested his head on your forehead. You slightly giggled and kissed him one more time and spoke, I love you, Winston. You said, and the two slept in each other's arms. And then the, the there's the author's comment. First lemon, I hope you like it all. I hope you like it. I hope you all like it. I'm, I'm fucking. This is fucking fan fiction. I hate this. I I hope you all like it. Bless you. Uh. And uh, here's a here's another comment from the actual author. After watching Beyond Good and Evil Two, 
I say it's possible to impregnate a <laughs> human. Oh god, this this is <laughs> uh, You know what? I'm I'm just gonna end it here. It, it this is a good point to end. So uh see ya.